Hey, this is Casey with 3Z Stereo, and I'm going to show you a workflow for editing your 3D footage in Final Cut, and then export to After Effects to edit uh, your convergence and your disparity adjustments. And the really cool thing is, uh, this does this without degrading quality and without render times. And so as soon as you have your footage, you can start editing, and then um, you don't have to wait for the render until you're rendering your final product. So it's a, it's a huge time saver. And, and I think it's a really great workflow. So let's get down to it. I have uh, some footage, all the kids coming up with their, uh, coming out of the quarter pipes with their bikes and riding around and um, I have some skateboarder footage. And So I'm gonna show you how we can edit this really quickly. First thing we're gonna do is make a new sequence and we're gonna call it Raw Skate Park. I'll just delete my old one here. So here's our new sequence and I'm gonna drag one of these clips down there and it's gonna ask me if I wanna match the clip settings. I'll go ahead and say yes. And here we are, here's our, uh, our footage here. And uh, this is the right eye and I'm gonna import the left eye as well. And let's just see how these line up. So what I'm gonna do is just select this and hit Control B to switch this track on and off. And so it looks like they're a little bit different. Uh, these clips won't always be in sync, um, especially if you're using the, uh, the system I'm using, which is basically two little cameras side by side. I'm gonna take the left clip and I'm actually going to bring the opacity down, just like that. And then I'm gonna take it and move it back and forth uh, by holding Alt and hitting left and right. And I'm basically wanting to match up this skateboarder. Let's look at him a little closer here. And so I'm gonna move this back and forth until these frames look the same. And it should be pretty close. That looks about right. And now to test this, I'm just gonna go somewhere else in the footage, zoom out, and just go back and forth and make sure that we're in sync here. Okay, now that our clips are in sync, I'm just gonna bring the opacity back up. And I'm gonna chop off the ends. And the reason I'm doing this is so that we have a, a straight edge on each side. It just makes it a little easier for uh, organization. What I'm gonna do with this raw sequence is I'm gonna copy all of my clips down there, sync them up just like I did, and then I'm gonna have this sequence with uh, all the clips lined up and in sync. And so I'll just do the other one real quick. We'll bring down left bring down right. It doesn't matter which track your left eye is on as long as they're all on the same track. So left eyes on the top, left eyes on the top, all the way through. It will help you not get confused. And so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna find, this looks like a pretty good shot that I just happened to run across. Go down to 50-ish. And it looks pretty good, um, although I think this is a little bit off, and here's why I think that. Because look how this wheel has turned a little bit, and that's moving faster than just about everything else. So I'm thinking that it might be better one frame to the left or right. Yeah, so I'm thinking that's where we wanna be. And we'll just keep going through here and make sure that everything else looks like it's in sync. It's usually only off by a frame or two if you're trying to hit the button, the, the record buttons at the same time. So that looks pretty good. And I'll just bring that opacity back up and chop off the ends. And you can chop it just at the end of the shortest clip. But for this, if I really need something at the beginning of the end of the clip, I can go and find it. This is just a quick way to do it. Okay. So here's my two clips. They're synced up um, left and right, and they are ready to be edited, okay? Now that I have this all synced, I can make a new sequence, and I'll call it mm, Edit Skate Park. Great. Double click on this, and I'm gonna drag one of these clips down again. And that's just so I can make sure that I have the same clip settings. And I'll say yes, and I can just delete that. So now I have this sequence all set, so we won't have any render bars or anything like that. I'm just gonna go through 
And for a longer sequence, you might just want to go through and either make marks on the uh, sequence and, and index what's in these clips. But um, I mean, this is only probably about a seven minute sequence. So I'm just going to copy everything over to this new sequence. And now, the reason I did that is because if I mess this up, get this way out of sync, and get everything all crazy like, no matter how bad I mess that up, I always have this as a backup. So it's a really, really good way, and, and, and that's how I would uh, suggest editing just about any kind of sequence, whether it's stereo or 2D. And so, like I said, I can just recopy this stuff over. Great. And now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at my left eye, and I'm going to go through and edit the good parts here. And so I'm just going to go through and find the good parts. And really the only thing you have to be careful of is that you treat everything like it's in sync. And so I'm going to hit control V, which will cut everything along the, uh, the time marker. And then I can just delete and it'll slip everything down. And I can go to the end, do the same thing, find the next good point, and I'm basically just going through and finding the good parts and cutting out the fluff here. So I'm going to stop the recording real quick and edit this. Okay, so I have it all edited here. I have some uh, good parts. These guys, uh, this is my favorite one. They, these guys coming up in the air at the same time. Pretty cool. And so this is my edit. And uh, of course I could put it to music or do whatever I want to, but um, for this tutorial, I think I'll just edit it just about to there. So this ends up being about one minute of footage, and um, and it's all the good stuff that we want. So here comes the cool part. To adjust the convergence and the disparities and all the alignment things uh, for a stereo production, we are going to take this into After Effects. This is where this gets really, really cool, because we don't have to render any of this before we take it into After Effects. It's completely lossless and it will link to your original clips, and it's pretty much the best. Here's what we do. I'm gonna take this Edit Skate Park, and I'm gonna call this Edit Skate Park Left, okay? Then I'm gonna duplicate this and call it Edit Skate Park Right, okay? And so I'm gonna open Right, and I'm gonna delete all the left clips. And just to note, this is something you do after you're completely done with your edit. It's, uh, it's going to be really annoying to go back and edit it after this. So this is like the last thing you do. Okay, So you delete, delete your left eye. And then in the left sequence, I'm going to delete my right eye. And I'm going to collapse them down to just the first tracks on the audio and the video. Okay. So now if you click in between these, these edges and everything should look the same. And it looks, looks good. So now I'm going to make a new sequence and I'm going to call it Skate Park Stereo. And double click. I'm just going to drag down my right sequence, say yes, and go back to the start here and drag down my left sequence. Great. And so now we have left and right, and they should still be synced up. And one thing we can do to uh, check that is just like we did with the original clips. You can just select this and disable it with Control B. And his hands are in the same place. The board's at the same place. Everything's the same, it's just a little bit offset because it's a different camera. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. I'll check it at the end to make sure we're good. And we sure are. Looks good. So now we're ready to send it to After Effects. We're going to take the Skate Park Stereo and we're going to go to Export, XML. Okay. And version 5 is fine. And we're going to hit OK and I'll just save it to my desktop, Skate Park Stereo. Great. 